What are you? What are you? Boy or girl? Women are men. I walk through the world as people shuffle pronouns upon my body casually, as if they know. And then they change their minds. None of these and all of these are who I am. But how does one articulate this? It's one thing to walk through the world while others constantly mark you and proclaim you he or she, when neither of those alone stands correct. Both leave the other's body and carve out a piece of me that is only ever what they can see with dichotomous eyes. What does it mean that when I talk about myself, I stumble upon silence as the word woman and also the word man seems to somehow forget or disavow something so central to me which I have not been taught to name or recognize. Just as most of us in this world, what does it mean to live in ambiguity, yet demand recognition and respect? How can I ask for recognition if I do not yet have the words to teach you, to give you me? This whole person. I've written this poem entitled No Name for queer people of color who have been murdered or committed suicide. These names will be forgotten if we do not remind ourselves that for every story told or history preserved, there are a million silences and erasures. Some things, some people, and some places always remain in those spaces of illegibility. Today I try to shed a little light, knowing in advance that the knowledge in this space, my space, requires more listening than speaking, more feeling than touching, and more seeing than representing. Freedom is and can only be fully expressed and embraced in these moments of illegibility and ambiguity. These are the moments where there is nothing left to say, but so much more to be. These are the moments when there is nothing else left to say, but so much more to be. These are the moments when there is nothing else left to say, but so much more to be. These are the moments when there is nothing else left to say, but so much more to be. No name. No, name. no name. Instead, Instead of a moment of silence, silence, I want to raise my voice and shout loud for my people who've been slain by unnecessary violence. Yes, they've been doomed to everlasting lifelessness, motionless, unable to breathe again, so forgotten unless we remember Sakia Gunn and Ronnie Perry's little girls and little boys cut down before they reach their prime. Homophobia, sexism, racism, you, me, us, non conform Forming faggot, faggot, bitch, bitch nigger, baby. baby. They say she got a swag that came from her dad. They say he sway his hips like a phenomenal woman. Phenomenal me, that is he and I am she. Don't take offense to my studality. You take my swag and was a dad that jammed into your hood. Woman, mother, sister, brother, father, man, hood. Swagger as a dagger, bull, full of it, insecurity. Surely it must be you are afraid of me and all like me. He pose a threat to an idea, a heteronormative masculinist, white man on top type of society, a challenge to the system. If there ever was a script, we took those lines and flipped them. A challenge to the system. If there ever was a script, we took those lines and flipped them. 
and I just want to be free. Free of terror, terrorists that feel the need to punch me in my breast before sorry brother, leaving a steam that lasts and some like you be getting raped in a blast or Michael Sandy running from his attacker on a highway, already bruised and beat and then crash and car took him out. How about Rashawn Brazel, body chopped into bits and thrown into trash bags to his attacker, he takes just a disposable bag to his attacker, he takes just a disposable bag. Bag. And yeah, it makes me mad because there are no disposable people, people, people. There are no disposable people, people. And there's no excuse for this type of evil. Stein Fenrich, burned by acid before being decapitated and stuffed into a tub. The words gay nigger number one etched into his skull. And these stories are etched into my heart. Just like the stories of Yukia Davis, Stephanie Thomas, Sydney Williams, Maria Johnson, Lyndon Barrett, Rashawn Holmes, Shani Baraka, David Cato. And the list goes on, and the list goes on, and the list will go on if we do not speak up. So, instead of a moment of silence, I want to raise my voice and shout loud for all my people who've been slain by unnecessary violence. Yes, they've been doomed to everlasting life. This that motionless, unable to breathe again, so forgotten unless we remember you, me, us, non-conforming fag, bitch, nigga, baby, baby. Instead of a moment of silence, I want to raise my voice and shout loud for all my people, you, you, me, me, us, you, you, me, me, us. Non-conforming, faggot, faggot, bitch, nigga, nigga, baby, baby.